So it's going to be, you know, fully connected networks that we are going to study today, as well as our aim also is to um, discuss about convolutional neural networks. So let us see that how much that we can cover. And I assume that uh, uh, the sessions, last day sessions were really interesting and uh, useful uh, for all of our participants. And, um, and they actually have laid and the foundation that is actually that that we actually require for our you know upcoming uh, content yes yeah, so the yeah so i request that uh, all of you need to be on your mute as well as if you have any question then you can write that thing in the chat box i'm continuously checking that chat box if possible i will answer in between or you know somebody may let me know that there is some question there or if you have some very immediate thing then only you please uh, unmute yourself and ask questions right that many number of that many number of spaces are being there i'm sorry hello hello yes Hello, I'm sorry, see, point is that I have only one phone and I also need to keep track that um, no issue if I'm not audible. No issues. Yeah, I, I don't uh, take up calls, but I need to make sure that if uh, uh, my voice is not clear or Preeti is calling and someone is calling, that's fine. I'm sorry. <clears throat> no issues. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, thanks. So that is the thing that we are having one direction df by w1, df by w2. And what are these? These are actually the direction partial things. These are my two derivatives. <clears throat> By the way, I have started with my initial location wherever I am. My initial location may be somewhere over here. Maybe randomly initialized. From that randomly initialized location, if I start my my new location, how can I get my new location is that I am having, you know, W1, then I'm having W2, maybe W3, maybe W4, and so on. And given all of them, I wanted to update and move into some, you know, W1 new, W2 new, W3 new, and so on. How can I get this new locations using my old location is Derivative is the one who is going to help you. How? You just compute df by w1, df by w2. And what is this? This is actually the direction of your slope. You wanted to move in the reverse of that. That is why negative is actually coming. And then what was your old direction? The old location was w1 old. Given this w1 old, and this direction, I just the is that if you are a location where I am right now, like Monday, where the slope is very high, then what will happen that you cannot go that fast because your derivative may be very high. And if you keep on perspective using that it will, and it may be and that is why we use a nita this nita is your learning learning sir, rate. Come, sir. And, and this is what this 
sir bro yeah. audio still your, uh, yeah it was disconnected for a while can you repeat that point hello sir audio is getting okay uh, yeah audio is yes, breaking yes, up yes. a bit bro i can listen okay so what we can do is that we have started at maybe 9:30 let me connect it to uh, to my another internet this internet is probably creating issue and we are going to join maybe so right now it is 23 10:30 we are going to join assume that this is okay, the pause okay. of this session i am very sorry assuming this should no be the pause of this session and, and we are going to start mm -hmm. Start with our new next ten thirty. Please back. Okay. Be back on ten okay. thirty. Okay. Yes, okay. Be back. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Pretty please uh, stop the session. Yes, sir. I'll stop the recording. Okay. Okay. Let me check.